Welcome to uh, the new uh, program of uh, webcam. Uh, I'm going to PC Cam. I'm going to AmCam, which is a software for running my particular webcam. Oh my goodness, this is me. Hello and welcome to my webcam image. Gosh, there is some problems. Okay, let's have a look at what we have. This is the settings of the properties. The face tracking is here. So we can actually take on face tracking. Yay! Uh, what else do we want to do? Let's have a look at image flip. Um, what was that then? Okay, that's the gives you that one. <laughs> okay, low light. That's quite significant. Uh, why is that significant? Well, I only have to show you that, and you can see that not only it's upside down, which I don't want to be, but it's um, is a significant. Difference. You got here this bright light. Yeah. Move it around. That light. See now, if I was like that, and go here, what we get? Well, we can have light. In there. Uh, no, that is a super. I become a silhouette. Okay. So, so we have a low light. Uh, we've got image, image there, there, and then bring that. In. Oh, now on this video, to do where we can do with recording, you see the actual fact of the issue of hand. Right. Then you look. Then you just sound so you actually maybe seem a little bit better. Okay. Not brilliant quality image. No one's trying to say it is. No one's trying to tell you that this is going to be a good quality image. But what we do have um, is a bit more light. Okay. Now what I've actually done here uh, is, as you can see, I've clicked the image, the, the image mirror, the low light. Okay. Now we're going to move this over here. And let's just just tinker around with this, and we can see the brightness changes straight away. Sharpness. Okay. One of the great challenges with sharpness is actually getting someone looking like they're relatively sharp. Now you can see those figures there. You can see these here. We can actually change different levels of sharpness, and this is almost an autofocus facility within the within our arrangement. What else we've got? Brightness. Let's have a look at our brightness and see if we can make some changes on that. Okay. You can see that these this particular one probably one of the most noticeable ones. I've gone absolutely black, and then I go absolutely white. So it is worth just taking a few minutes, just even if you've got what I've got here, uh, as you can see, not the best quality of camera. This is a two pound special Fazda, as I've already mentioned in some of the other films. Um, but we have got effects, uh, we can go black and white if we wanted to, <laughs> but that doesn't really necessarily do what we're after, does it? So we can go green mono, we can see that green background now, yep. But for most of us, that disabling option is probably the best. Okay, if you want the frames changing, yep, yeah, you can get the paper frame. Gush, gush, look at that. Okay, again, that's probably the reason why most of those facilities are not actually used that often. Um, now, you can see there how the face is actually tracking. That's an interesting aspect there. Click that, click that. Yep, there is quite a bit of a difference in there, isn't there? Let me move that again. If we go to face tracking, you can see I could be looking directly at you now, and I'm going to click there, and I'm going to click there. Okay, so that's the effect we're getting on that particular option on your webcam. Outdoors. Okay, so if we're outdoors, we get that sort of image. Indoors, we're getting that. And again, not a vast amount, but if you're in those outdoors, you might well see the option. This is being filmed indoors. Well, we've got the flicker of the hertz. Okay, hertz is wave section so we're going to get much difference there and we're going to get much difference there backlight compensation backlight compensation now this might be fairly significant depending on your camera okay uh, depends on your viewing position as to what quality you're going to get I'm hoping to be maybe spending a little bit more time looking at more improved cameras in time um, Oh, we'll have to afford it. <laughs> Any donations, please PayPal them. Uh, to the name on the user account here, you'll see it at hotmail.com. And they'll be accepted, trust me. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we're looking at a whole bunch of information there. Master Stream, let's see what we've got there. Nothing there at all. Please excuse the ice cream man if you hear that. Um, right, we've got the help section there, and you've got your help menu. You've got your devices, you've got your PC cam, and the real tech. Now, real tech is going to be the sound card. Okay, so we can save the captured video, and um, we can, uh, which will be handy. But this actual file, what we're using here today is, as you can see on your screen, the flashing aspect there, and that's probably a 
big key aspects to uh, Camera Studio. Camera Studio is what I tend to use for making these recordings. So there you go, a few extra clips on using XP and AMCAP to look at your overall video. Now, it looks slightly different when you're looking at it like that. Um, this isn't the best camera in the world, but you can see me. I'm hoping you can hear me. And if you can hear me and see me, we're two thirds of the route down the road, as the saying goes. So that's the end of this video, and uh, I hope it's just been a little bit of interest for you.